Hello again, Aries. It's Jen with Bohemian Path Tarot, and we're doing another tarot reading with the pocket-sized Light Seers Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and give her a good shuffle for you, and I will meet you at the other side of the shuffle for your reading. Okay, Aries. So we start here. Oops, let me show you. Eight of Pentacles, feeling productive. The Hierophant. The Three of Cups. And the Emperor. Okay, so it looks like uh, we're coming into this reading uh, with very much boss energy. The emperor is you and your own energy. This is very energy, very Aries energy, right? The visionary, the um, a person who has a plan and the charisma, the drive, the um, the passion, the confidence, the self-confidence. Uh, to see it through. This is someone, you know, like an entrepreneur, uh, a freelancer, um, you know, somebody who has something that they, they need to build in the world, a, a plan for themselves, a plan for their life. So this is you, right? Ready to strategize, ready to take the next steps, ready to um, plot and plan and bring some of these um, these plans for yourself into the world. And this is echoed very nicely in this next card, right? This productive energy. You can even see this in this gorgeous card. This is you at work. And um, not only is this the, the, the work, you know, part of it, this is putting your love, the sweat, the tears, the passion, your, your best self into your product, whatever it is. Um, whether it's, you know, some kind of nine to five and building your, um, you know, your resume at a, at a more traditional workplace or whether it's you're building your portfolio as a freelancer or, um, you know, just networking and making connections, whatever it is, it's you put it building uh, your your name, as it were, putting your love of your craft, getting, being really inspired at what you do and uh, being inspired to um, make it, uh, bring it to the next level to advance in your career. Now, we see in the next card here, the Hierophant, that there is uh, some sort of mentorship or some sort of guru. There is a piece here where maybe a connecting with a mentor, a teacher, a professor, um, there's somebody, and it, it, this could even be like an agent, um, a representative that can help take you to the next level, help connect you with a new sort of level of, um, can we call it influence? People who might be interested in your project, people who might be able to give you advice, people might, who could connect you with other people who might be interested in your work, collaborators, networkers. This is opening up your community to um, other folks you can work with, other folks you can collaborate with, um, maybe making lateral moves, making, you know, and you can even see it in this card. There's, you know, the, the, the step laddering or, you know, moving upwards. Um, but this is through other people um, who have gone before you, who have more expertise. And so as much as the emperor has this boss energy and as much like, let's see if we could get these guys together as much as you have, you know, expertise and wisdom and drive on your own. The emperor is kind of like the next phase. It's connecting yourself with someone who has even more experience who can bring you to the next level. So don't, uh, 
don't let your pride or uh, your independence keep you from, you know, connecting with someone who has even more experience, because this will take you even further into the levels you want to go. And whatever it is that you're working on, we see like a next level of success, something to celebrate, something to bring your friends and your loved ones in on. But there's also the reminder here, like don't get so bogged down in the work that you forget to play. So as much as you have, let's see, can we get these together? As much as you have something to celebrate and as much as you want to, you know, um, progress, um, make time for play and connecting because there's also this piece where networking can be a part of um, moving on to the next level. It's it's connected, as it were. Um, connections can be you can you can mix work and play. So. Um, what an exciting reading for you, Aries. Oh, and this is kind of your, your time, too. So this really looks like an exciting time where um, you've got some kind of project or you're moving into a phase where you're going to be um, really moving forward with a, a work or career or side hustle, side project, something you're really connected to, something you're really passionate about. Um it bringing into the world something that really you identify with, something that gives you, um, that, you know, feeds your ego, but not in a bad way or a narcissistic way, something that fulfills you, right? Um, and you'll be putting work into it. And the more you love this work, the more, um, the more you the more of yourself you put into this work and the love you put into this work, the more recognition and the higher kind of quality product you'll put out, whatever it is, even if it isn't a physical project, product, even if it's, you know, um, ideas or writing or, or, or something like that, the more love you put into your craft, um, the, the, the faster, the more levels you're, you will advance. And there looks to be some sort of guru or mentor or some sort of networking aspect that will help you advance, that will help connect you with other communities, that will get the word out, that will um, connect you with um, ways to collaborate, to introduce you to other organizations or other businesses or a, a job or collaboration network, something like that. And don't forget to play. Um, don't forget to socialize for fun. And also you can mix business with pleasure during this phase. So congratulations, Aries. Um, you know, if you want to share whatever it is, this project that you're working on, the side hustle or whatever your business is, feel free to share it in the comments. Um, I hope this reading inspires you, gives you validation. In any case, thank you so much for dropping by. Uh, take good care, Aries. Bye for now.